I'm going to take you through how to use the WordPress app on the iPad in order to create blogs for your class pages. So first of all, you need to locate the WordPress app icon that looks like that. Press that. That should be on your home page. You'll then get a login page. Press login. Now you don't want either of those options at the bottom. You want the small one. Enter your own site address. Here, you need to put in the school website address, which is www.nailsworthschool.org.uk. Then click Next. And that should bring you up with a login page where you want to put in the login details that you use for the school website. Um, this is where you need to remember it as well. So it's not going to come up with it automatically saved. Um, I've hopefully just copied and pasted mine from somewhere else. Yes, okay, so then you will get your site popping up in SAP. And then you don't need to connect any more sites at the moment. You continue, and this will bring you to what is essentially the sort of dashboard of WordPress. Um, if you click on blog posts, it might take a few minutes to load them all, but it's at this moment it's connecting with the site. There we go, so now it's connected with the school site, and it's brought you up a list of all the blog posts that are on the page. Um, so it should have the most up-to-date ones. I'm not sure that that is entirely up-to-date. Should be though. Um, if there's any drafts in there that aren't, that haven't gone live, those will appear here. Um, you can also schedule them. I don't think there's any scheduled ones, and then there's binned ones, things that have gone, that haven't been used. So published post. Now, in order to do um, a new post, you want to click on the plus sign in the top right hand corner. Click on that plus sign. It brings you up a blank page. Essentially, you type away, give you your title, um, amazing day out, or whatever it was. You give some information about the amazing day out, information about it, blah, blah, blah. You can add a photograph if you wanted to. If you want to add a photograph, you go to the plus sign in the key, just there. WordPress would like to access your photos. Okay, you see all sorts of random photos. Probably pop up, hopefully in a minute. There we go. I'll add a random photograph of my cat. Insert that one photo. It takes a while to pop up. Okay, and now if it's a big photo, which very often photos on phones are saved at about two or three megabytes, ideally you want to reduce the size of that. It's taking time to load. You can see the bars kind of moving along the top there. Once it's loaded, then you can reduce the size of it. Um, let's let that finish loading. There we go, should be. It's uploading it. Now when it's uploading, it's also uploading it to the media library that will appear on the school website. Um, by tapping on the photo, it gives you this option. Remove the image or edit the image. If you go to edit, this is where you can change the size of the photo. So at the moment you've got it full size. Don't want it full size. You want it medium at the most. Um, leave a caption out. I wouldn't do any captions. I'd do it as separate text. An alignment is probably easiest to leave it as none. If you've got something you want to link to um, another URL, you can link it to another page if you wanted to. I don't want to do that for now, so that's done. So you see the picture has actually reduced in size on there. So hopefully it'll appear relatively small. 
you've got options here you can bold italics you can create a link that's to create a link to somewhere if you wanted to send somebody to another website um, and you can just type like normal creating your blog when you get to the point where you think I finish this you want to go up to the top corner and see the three dots on the top right hand corner if you go on those you want to go to the post settings okay this is where we need to say um, what where we want it to be posted and what we want it to look like so in categories at the top you choose where you want to send it so these are all the pages where you could have a blog post um, PE fit and healthy doesn't actually appear anywhere at the moment so don't use that one um, but you could use um, the garden if it's something about the community garden uh, kids corner which is useful games and activities and one for each class for now I'm just going to put it on the home page so I tick the home page I could also put it on year one if it was relevant to year one and one, once I've done that I then just go back it's automatically saved go back to post settings now down the bottom here it says set featured image this is really important do set a featured image because of the way that our posts appear on the website they always have a photograph with them if you don't have a photograph you just get a bit of boring text so choose a photograph to go with it I'm going to choose the same photograph that I've got within my post at the moment one of the little cat um, set the featured image so that's pretty much it um, I don't want to publish this immediately because I want to go in and delete this but I'm going to so I'm going to say I'm going to publish it tomorrow at 12 20, 1245 which might be relevant if um, I don't know if you've, if you've got an event coming up that you want to to flag up later uh, and that's about it so the featured image and where which category you choose and where to post it are the three most important things you go back then you can preview it if you go to the three dots again in the top corner you can preview what it would look like on the page exit now it says preview unavailable okay so you can't do that right now so i'm scheduling it so i'm now going to instead of um because i've scheduled it for tomorrow the option here is to schedule it if i went into I go back to the post settings and I do scheduled for today it will then give me an option to publish it now I don't want to publish this live on the website so I'm going to no, press the wrong thing I want to go to schedule post and schedule it for tomorrow and go to schedule schedule it with confidence so I can keep editing it or I can schedule it now I'm going to schedule it now and now if I'd done it if I published it live it would appear here straight away this should appear in the scheduled post there we go so that's how it will look now because I don't want this to go live ever because it's not relevant I've gone to the options of more in the corner here and moved to bin. So if I don't like it, I can just bin it and it's gone. And that's basically it. If you want to look at, um, if you want to add images to the media library, you should be able to click on media and then you'll get into the whole media library of the school website. It might take a while to pop up because there are a lot of photos in there. So right now it's connecting. Um, hopefully, eventually it might pop up. It's got the one that I had. Um, site pages, you can see the, the actual, all the pages. If you go to publish pages, it'll bring up all the pages we've got on the website. Again, it's taking ages to pick that up, but it lists out all the pages. You can edit those if you want to. And that's about it.